<sighs> Las Vegas Raiders, Las Vegas Raiders, Las Vegas Raiders. You have done it again. You have officially uh, done it again. And this, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. I'm not pissed off because this is what the Las Vegas Raiders does to us as fans. This is what we do. So I'm not mad or nothing of that nature, but the Las Vegas Raiders lose to the Denver Broncos 34 to 18. And this game was a game that could have been winnable for the Las Vegas Raiders. You know, we went up 10 nothing in the first quarter and we got shut out the second and the third quarter. And in the second half, the Denver Broncos scored 21 points in the second half, but they scored 34 points unanswered. You know, the last time that actually happened to the Las Vegas Raiders, it was back in what 2014 that this actually happened against the Oakland Raiders. This is the first time it happened since 2014 that we that the Denver Broncos had scored 34 unanswered points. Now, the last time the Raiders has beaten us was since what 2016, I think. It's been eight games, eight straight games that the Las Vegas Raiders has beaten the Denver Broncos, no matter if we were home or we were in mile high. AP allowed this streak to end today even though i am not a josh mcdaniels fan i'm not but one thing i can say about josh mcdaniels because i hate his guts as our head coach back in the day one thing about john gruen i was not a big fan of john gruen but he was able to get it done and one thing that he did is remain undefeated against the denver broncos and ap couldn't do it ap could not do it and this was a very embarrassing game for the Las Vegas Raiders. It was an embarrassing game as a whole. But it's more of an embarrassing game for the offense. I can't be mad at the defense giving up 34 points when you're out there more than the offense is. Let's just keep it funky and let's just keep it real. Let's keep it funky and let's keep it real. Because at the end of the day, this offense really stinks. No matter who's the quarterback. I've been saying it so many times, week after week, everybody thought Zamir, Zamir White wasn't it. Everybody's saying, oh, this offensive line is better with Alexander Madison. It's better with Amir Abdullah. This offensive line couldn't block a soul. It doesn't matter who's back there. No matter who's the quarterback, this offensive line stinks. And the game is won in the trenches. And it shows. And it shows. We allowed three sacks, two on Gardner Minshew, one on Aiden O'Connell. Colton Miller looked like the worst left tackle in football. Understand that we have two rookies in DJ Glaze and Jackson Power Johnson, but we still didn't address the offensive line when it comes to veterans. That's actually not washed up at that. We don't. We didn't address the quarterback position after Derek Carr. We just didn't address a lot of things after the last regime. It just looked like the last regime all over again. And I understand why Devontae Adams wants out as a Las Vegas Raider. I want to win. And one thing that the Las Vegas Raiders are not doing is winning on a consistent basis. We lose one week, we win one week. We lose one week, we win one week. Where's the consistency? There's none. There's no consistency. But let's get straight into it, man. Gardner Minshew, 12 of 17, 137 yards. A touchdown and two interceptions sacked twice. Aiden O'Connell, 10 of 20, 94 yards. An interception and sacked once. Quarterbacks didn't play well. Aiden O'Connell had some flashes, but it was at the end of the game. But quarterbacks didn't play well. Offensively, we just didn't play well as a whole because our defense was on the field more than the offense was. When it comes to rushing yards, yeah, we get we we have 115 rushing yards collectively. But we don't even have over 50 yards rushing from an individual. Amir Abdullah was the close with 42 yards on five carries and a touchdown. You have Alexander Madison at 15 carries for 38 yards with 2.5 yards a carry. But people say Zamir White is the issue. We know what the issue is. It's the offensive line. Two carries for 22 yards for Gardner Minshew. One carry, I mean, two carries for eight yards for Trey Tucker. One carry for DJ Turner. 
Brock Bowers did what he was supposed to do today. Eight eight receptions for 97 yards and 12 targets. Jacoby Myers, he had a great, he had an okay game today. Six carries for 72 yards on nine targets. Madison, two uh receptions for 23 yards. You had Trey Tucker, two receptions for 18 yards on five targets. DJ Turner, one reception for 12. And Amir Abdullah, three receptions for nine. Well, I can say is this the offense still put up 330 yards total offense. And we still lost this game. Because we couldn't get nothing going in the second quarter. We could not get nothing going in the fourth quarter at all. And the offensive line sucks. And I've been saying it week after week after week that the offensive line really sucks. 11 penalties for almost 80 yards from the Las Vegas Raiders. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. If we were first in the league in penalties, not being flagged on us with 3.7 flags per game, and we had 11 in one game, it's unacceptable. Unacceptable. We can't have those. We beat ourselves. Self-deflicted wounds. So many things that went on in this game that we can't even blame the Denver Broncos for beating our ass. We have to put it on ourselves. And that's what I hope Raider fans see. That we got our ass whooped because we beat ourselves. And they just took over in the fourth quarter. They took over in the third quarter. Where we couldn't get nothing going at all. We couldn't get nothing going. And it, it's, it's sad to say. It's sad to say as a Raiders fan. I sit here and say AP you are all talk. All talk and no execution. Who made business decisions this time AP? Who made the who made the business decisions? I would love to know. You know, we were seven of fifteen on third down. There was only three of twelve, and we still lost this game. We had sixty five total plays to their fifty eight, and they and we still lost this game. We had three hundred and thirty total yards on the offensive side of the ball, and we still lost this game. We both have a tail of twelve drives, and we still lost this game. What was it? Three interceptions thrown. Offensive line can't block. Drop passes. The defense, they they could do what whatever they could do. As much as they we could not get nothing going, they kept giving us the ball back and we kept failing them. We are failing this defense. Like we're failing Devontae Adams. We're failing this defense. People can say what they want about this offensive line. Oh, this offensive line played good. I'm going to give them a C. No, I am not giving them no C. Where? Are you watching the same game that I'm watching? Because I I, I don't think you are. I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, we don't have a running game. Uh, da, da, da. I've been saying the offensive line stink for five weeks. I've been saying that. Nothing has been changed at all. But I'm not going to get pissed. And I'm not going to be mad because the Denver Broncos did what they came to do with their rookie quarterback, Bo Nix, that was 19 of 27, 206 yards and two touchdowns and no turnovers. They got the quarterback that they wanted when the Raiders are going to do it, when the Raiders are going to get the right team to change the narrative or be physical and bring pain, AP. We got the Pittsburgh Steelers next week, and I don't think we're ready. The Pittsburgh Steelers are going to be a good team. They play tonight against the Dallas Cowboys. And we're going to see how they are, but they're a good football team. They're not no slouch. They're not no bum. they definitely not no scrubs. And I just feel like right now, is AP losing the locker room? What is he doing? We just don't, we just don't know. As long as we... Get consistency, this team will be better. But we are inconsistent every single week. We look good one week, we look bad next week. What is the what is the change? Or what is that because we won and we didn't start practicing until Wednesday, AP? Well, we should have just start practicing on Tuesday instead of Wednesday? I don't know what it is. I'm just logically thinking, like, what could what are we doing wrong? And Denver show what we're doing wrong. We're not, we're getting the best player available and we're not getting the need. And I understand Brock Bowers is the best player available there. He showed today. But we have a lot of needs on this team from all three phases of offense, all three phases of defense. Then Wilkins goes out with a foot injury 
after the sack because Adam Butler wants to tackle him after that. We got to be smarter, man. We can't be playing. We got to play smarter and not harder. Max Crosby's giving his 110%. And he got two sacks out of it. Two and a half sacks out of it. So is it really the defense or is it really the offense or is it just a team as a collective? I don't know. I don't have the answers. But this is an embarrassing loss for the Las Vegas Raiders. And this is how I feel about it. Typical Raider football. That's what it is. It's typical Raider football. But Raider Nation, how are you feeling today? How are you feeling after the loss to the Denver Broncos? I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments. So please, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to the channel for more Raider news, subscribe to the channel. Turn on all them notifications. We absolutely appreciate it. Until then, I'll see you on the next video or in the next live stream. Peace.